Hey, hey, Battle Bay, this is Porthos. You are watching Battle Bay with Porthos. And in these next four videos, Smile Shark is going to teach us how to use a Frost Blaster and a Big Torpedo. You are learning from the best here because when it comes to a Frost Torpedo combo, there is none better than Smile Shark. He doesn't even have tier 5 epic weapons, but he is always in the top 10 of Battle Bay. So the coolest thing about Frost Blaster, it is A, my favorite yellow item in the whole game, and B, it goes through shields. It is an amazing nerfing weapon to use because you can slow down these super fast speeders and leave them dead in the water to take a bunch of damage. Frost Blaster combos amazingly well with torpedoes because torpedoes can get up to a 50 or 60% damage bonus when a target is frosted. So they are amazing. You not only slow them down, boom, like that. You frost them and you hit them for upwards of two to three, even 4,000 damage if you have a powerful big torpedo. And Smile Shark knows all about that. Watch this, 3,000 damage in one hit. Sunk a fixer without even blinking. Now, the thing about Frost Blaster is when a boat is frosted, if it takes damage, if you shoot it, the amount of time left on the frost gets reduced by half. So you want to be careful. There you go, 3600 damage on a frosted target. This is an amazing combo to use if you can do it right. But you need to be smart because while they are frosted, you want to make sure your big shots hit them before they get unfrosted. And Smile Shark is very good at doing that. There we go, he is circling around, frosting him, keeping Eric dead, frozen in the water so the rest of us can take him down. I just love frost blasters and I love comboing them with torpedoes. It's really hard to use, but when done right, man, it packs a punch. Here we go with another fight with Smile Shark. On this level, he likes to get out ahead of everybody and shoot his big torpedo into the crowd as they come out from this channel here because it has a huge splash damage range. It's got like a three and a half point splash damage range. So if you hit one guy, likely you're going to be able to hit two or three others. He's getting chased off here, which is not good. He's calling the kill on Crouching Tiger. I'm out there in the back doing some damage, but Smile Shark is getting double teamed in a corner here. This is not a good position you want to be in and it doesn't look very good for him. Let's see if he can land, oh, darn it. He did not quite manage to land that big torpedo. There is a two or three boat arming radius on a big torpedo, so you can't shoot them when people are very close to you. It just won't detonate, it doesn't have time to arm. So it's tricky to balance all of that out at the same time. Now it looks like it's up to me to take him out. No one's bothered to damage me too much in this game up till now. I have just been sitting, blowing guys up, and no one's been touching me. Now a speeder is a surgeon, so he really needs to be using a big torpedo point damage, but I like using the triple torpedo for crowd control. Down goes another one of our team members. Negative, 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 I say. I tell ya, a defender's job is never over. You want something done, you gotta do it yourself. And our little enforcer sinks on two on two over here. I got one new guy with me, but let's see. There we go. Sent two down to Davy Jones' locker. Just kind of felt like I had to do all the damage myself in that fight because Smile Shark got separated quickly, unfortunately. But hey, that's just life in Battle Bay. Let's watch another fight, though. Smile Shark and me fleeting again. This time we're facing off against Hodges, one of the very best fixers in the game. But Smile Shark really does well when there's a fixer because people like to circle close to a fixer, and Smile Shark loves the splash damage of his big torpedo because he can take out big groups all at once. I've seen him take out two, three, four guys at once with a lucky hit with a big torpedo. So here he goes into the battle right away. Black Lotus, that is your main target here. He's got him frosted. Let's see if he can land a lucky hit on him. Hey, he goes for the sniper cannon and gets a crit right away. Fantastic shot. Meanwhile, he's taking a pounding over here. He's getting chased into a corner again and double teamed. But he's going to try his combo again here probably. Frosting Crouching Tiger, zooming away, and then a big torpedo hit. Will it land? Yes! On both of them at once. 2,000 damage each. 
That is a fantastic hit using the splash damage of a torpedo and finishing it up with a sniper shot. That was a beautiful play. Because of that splash damage on a big torpedo, it's important to learn how to use walls right because hitting a wall near to a player is gonna splash damage them seriously hard and it's one of the best ways to score hits when you can't get a direct hit. Just hit a wall nearby and you're gonna do some damage. Winkleberry with his legendary tier four standard cannon, man, I don't even wanna know what he spent to get that thing. And if he ever learns how to use it right, man, you better watch out Battle Bay. All right, there's just Hodges left over here hiding. He had his spirit broke. So Smile Shark's gonna put him out of his misery. You see, he missed the torpedo shot there. They move pretty slow, so it's really hard. You have to predict where they're going to be and lead your shot just right. He's gonna try and use that big torpedo one more time to finish him off, but looks like the arming range wasn't quite long enough, and I got the finishing hit. So there you go, another awesome fight. Smile Shark doing 12,000 damage, carrying the whole team with his big torpedo. Now, an important thing to note, when you use a big torpedo at all, you need to be able to maneuver your boat agilely. So using something like a rudder, if you're using a speeder, or using gear lube, if you're using a shooter, will be very important because especially you'll see on Smile Shark, he will frost a target and zoom past them and then circle around behind very quickly thanks to his rudder and then be able to hit them from the back it's an awesome combo. It's hard to pull off, but with a rudder, it makes it a lot easier. So don't underestimate the power. So here you see Smile Shark. He's got Hecker frosted. He called the kill. He told the team, hey guys, focus on this guy. We need to get him out of the game. Isan rushing in past Hecker. Unfortunately, he is running right into the middle of a battle, so he is a bit suicidal usually. He's not going to last very long, it doesn't look like, but that's okay because we still got Smile Shark and his nice big fat torpedo. Now you see, you got a nice big grouping of enemies over there. Smile Shark is going to fire a big torpedo and let's see what it does. There it goes, 3,500 and 2,200 in one shot on a frosted target. All right, and I finished up the job there for him. That's what buddies are for. Now it's Hekor sitting there frosted. The super fast speeder basically useless because he is stuck in place. I love using this combo, guys. I cannot say it enough. It works great for nerfing targets and for boosting damage. So here you're gonna see the other benefit of a Frost Blaster. It's excellent for escaping. See, Hekor is now frosted for 10 seconds. His speed is reduced by 60% or so, while Smile Shark gets away. Help, 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 he says, together, because he needs some help. He's almost dead. One more shot and Smile Shark is down. See, the downside of using this rudder big shield and turbo combo is he doesn't have a bandage on him, so he can't heal himself over time. He's stuck with the hit points he started with. So it's a bit of a challenge. He can't just run away and heal up. He has to play very smart and strategically. So here he goes, keeping Hector frosted. He raises the Tesla shield just in time to block Hector's shot. And let's see, there it goes! Cheering ensues. A frosted big torpedo hit sinks the speeder in one shot. Well, there you go, guys. Now you've learned how to use the big torpedo and a frost blaster like a master. This has been Battle Bay with Porthos.